This game is weird. Oh, he's at the bar. It's basically a football manager type game. I mean, it's a football management game. Football manager competitor, if you will. But you can see it's already different to football manager. I'm going to have to show you some of this game because there is some crazy stuff happening in it. Uh, some good stuff that football manager could take and put in their own game, to be honest. Uh, and also some weird stuff. And I mean, you can see that this is the match engine. So I might as well get that out of the way. It doesn't play the full game in the match engine. You just see these weird little highlights with these little clips. It doesn't quite have the physics of, of, of foot manager. You might also notice that. Give me a second. Right, I've had to add the display. I've had to change the capture. For some reason, the capture would only capture the engine. It wouldn't capture any of this menu screen or anything. Very, very weird. Just another weird thing in this game. So yeah, this is We Are Football 2024. They sent this to me, so just disclaimer up ahead. But I can say what I like about it. I can say whether I like it or don't like it. You know, that's all fine. What will I say? Do I like it or don't I like it? I will say it's interesting. It's not going to be replacing Football Manager for me just yet. But I think there's certainly some stuff in here which is pretty cool. I'll probably play it a few times you know, give it a go. And I, and I just want to show it off a little bit. So we're at half time in this match. You can see here. Now, what? look at this. I can put these players anywhere. So it doesn't really have the attributes that Football Manager has. So let's look at this, this guy, Finn Arslan. If you look, if I look at him, and it will tell me what kind of player he is. And it has these little attributes that tell me about those. So he's perfectionist, agreeable. He also has these little skills. So this, he's a pacey player, but he's not good at corners and he's not so good at shooting. I mean, he's a four, he's one of my better players. It gives me all these attributes about like what kind of all these all this information about what kind of player personality is swag factor i mean there is lots of weird stuff and we, we i can put him in the hall of fame you can see down here i can set it so that he can't be sold there's lots of strange stuff he's a passionate amateur apparently there's you know i can check his motivations expert quality of a manager agreeableness but behind my head there's some stuff let me just remove my head for a second you can see oh that removed everything nope we're back so we've got like built up frustration his character his coach motivation there's like a lot of weird stuff going on in this game a lot of information like his his form is written here this is the actual level and he gets a little bonus to that so he's 3.7 but if i go back to the match so 3.7 in his best position but you can see he has other positions so he can also play right attack so if i put him over here it'll be a 3.4 but if i put him down here at left back you can see he drops to a 1.1 so basically the higher the number the better the player is so i want him as a 3.7 so i could put him in around here this guy's a 5.8 and again i can move him around and you'll see he'll move around but this guy a 3.6 where else can he play so he can play deep i put him higher up and the color also changes to say it's not a position they're good at he can play on the left for example he'll play on the left as a 3.6 or in the middle is a 3.3. So he's probably actually better as a left wing. So he's a left winger pro predominantly. What's Carl Ritter? So he can also play in the center. So I can switch these two around, for example. I can see, for example, he's good at shooting and crosses, bad at short passes. Same with him. Weirdly, this guy up top is not good at shooting, which is a bit of a pain. So blue is good. Yellow and red and green is also good. Uh, yellow and red are not so good. So both my strikers are not so good with their shooting technique, which probably isn't great if i put another player in the goal area what happens okay well let me so we're at half time i'll show you this second so most of the game most of the matches play out like this and then you get a highlight when something happens and you can see uh, it does get, it does give these little numbers up which is like they're formed throughout the game you might have seen those tiny little numbers showing up they're not very visible on the green background but the ball sort of just ended up in my keeper's hands there you'll also notice of course this is not licensed but some people have done some excellent custom database work that you can go and grab whatever there is sound game sounds as well i see if i could you know play those for a little bit for you you can hear them well, we can we can probably turn those off you get a good idea they have just scored to equalize richard stocker has, has scored for them he's on a 0.18 xg i mean it loves its stats and uh, in this game there's not so many attributes but there are loads and loads of stats uh, green white bremen are actually four nil up four nil or three nil up four nil up i think they were three nil up in the first half so they're giving me a little bit of five nil they're giving me a little bit of a battering here um, we also seem to have a home advantage just given the stadium but there's lots of weird stuff that i'm gonna have to show you we're going to go back to the main menu after this match and we'll just look at some of the weird stuff in the game. Now, this is one of the first things I wanted to show you after the game. As you can see, this is the 
the progress after the game all the players level up slightly so they get a little bit better plus their training objectives that they have they get a little bit better at these so for example Maiko Jans is working on his headers improves that a little bit the we can see how good they were at pressing how good they were at the tactics if they got better at those tactics the training condition how good we were at the playing style if they got better at playing it day at night it's all very weird the team spirit's gone down which is is behind my head i'll just hide my head again just to show you that for some reason again it's hidden everything can i get it back there we go yeah you can see the stamina the energy's gone down a little bit but yeah it's it's some unusual stuff so this is where it mainly plays out you get this calendar and you've got to schedule lots of stuff into your your calendar i've just done a i mean the, it hasn't brought me back to like an inbox or anything there's no inbox per se in this game so foot magic obviously we've all played foot magic foot magic is very much based around the idea of the inbox um, i've actually had a transfer request on a level a three 3.0 player i'll probably reject that so i got offered a player just there and then and then it brings me to that we're sort of making transfers now so this is the way in which you make transfers now oh, these are the transfers that have already gone through sorry so it's just giving me an update of the transfers that happened so this is where we get to so at the start of every week you, you sort of set the focus for the week you can set it on the next match you can select set it on player advancement so you'll see if i go into a player tyler huber for example and i look at his training progress he's got like a like an, almost like an rpg skills tree right and he builds out that skills tree and he gets better at certain things and i can set focuses for him i, I can set orders on them as well we can change his position as well we can boost him we get four boost points i think it's a season but i don't know these action points i got four of them to start the game but yeah, we can we can set how we want him to develop, and we can also set you know finish certain we want him to sort of counter attacks, pressing, no training, special attacks. We're going to set that to finishing. That's the training focus, and the personal focus is all kinds of things. So this could be to improve players, improve squads, organizing staff, finance, all these different things. We this is we can also boost players here. So we're playing in Germany right now. The way I ended up with this team was very very odd as as well, but we set so that set us for the week so we can now get these things where you can see the team support has gone down we've got popularity players and supporters we've got the budget at the minute we haven't got we haven't got much budget left you can see right here i can ex expand or extend the stadium in fact we can look at the stadium look at this this is our stadium and we can fly around it so this is like this 3d engine it's already i mean this looks nicer than than foot manager in some respects so yeah i mean look at there's, there's wind farms going on in the background way up in the background there it's very odd there's a big hot dog stand you know this sort of weird stadium complex that's in the woods you know i don't know these are these apartments what are these that are around or loads of parks or who knows with this with this like very open plan stadium in the middle but then i've also got club grounds which i found interesting because if you go, if we go back to the stadium a second at the end there look we've got a training ground right there i think there's one at the other end as well there is there's another training ground at the end there and you can see one two across in the distance there and another one over there so we have all these training grounds around the stadium but then we also have club grounds we've got a training pitch here and a training pitch here and i don't know if that's a club shop or the club offices or whatever with parking and this long road now it looks like it should go to the stadium but i don't think this is the stadium or is it Maybe this is the stadium, but the but the buildings are sort of despawned. And if I go back to the stadium, I can't see this road anywhere. This road doesn't exist. I assume that's supposed to be the stadium. But where that road away from the stadium, there isn't one in in it would be in the middle, right? There isn't one. The lake. This is much bigger. So I don't know. I don't really know what's going on here with these weird. Oh, they're out. They're out there training. Wait, there's people here. I can zoom on them. They're just like running around. Oh, I didn't realize there would be people here training anyway this is this is very very weird as i fly my little drone around i don't really know what the this guy's like training on his own i don't know what the purpose of this is necessarily he's like doing laps so yeah it's interesting i can also expand it and extend it so this is what something sort of a lot of people want in foot manager i can i can actually sort of design you know i could build up the stadium look at that build that up make it a twenty thousand seater i could put some advertising on let's put some advertising maybe some standing spots vip ring on these stands and then i can go and you know confirm that although we haven't got the money for that so that's 
not going to happen. That would cost 25 million. We definitely don't have the money for that. We can also do with the club grounds. You know, here at the club grounds, I can add any of these things. I can add a toilet. We can add a toilet in somewhere because maybe I assume there's not a toilet there. Let's get a toilet added in. There we go. We're expanding the club grounds with an extra toilet. So this is weird stuff. Scouting, like these are the players. So we can come in and have a look at some of these players. So we don't know what level any of these are yet. It's all based off this sort of star rating and then like a number between one and I don't know what it goes up to. I think it goes up to 20. But if I check, maybe show me. No. So go back to my office click scouting so this is a different this isn't on i was trying to find this screen before if i go to scouting you'll see this is transfers and scouting scout talk to player okay that takes me to that same screen and then i can sort of the players have certain types of characters so maybe they are leaders maybe they are analysts maybe they are artists or team players and you have the requirements that you want from them the market value um, so there's lots of little weird things going on in this game so you're basically basing it on the talent level, which is that number, and you want that to be as high as possible. And then this level as well. So this is like around level four. This is the guess of how good they are. And then this is how good they are. Um, the foot they play with, the kind of player they are, and the skills that they have. So we already sort of know some of their skills, but some of them we need to scout them to find out more. You can see there's little question marks there. And we can send the different scouts off. Oh, it's telling me we don't know the talent. But then on the right here, I do have a rough estimate. So I get a 2.8. So if I want to find the best player. So is it him, a 3.8? Possibly not. Let's have a quick look through to see. Okay, I think it is him. So roughly they're in order. There was another 3 something there. 3.1 on him. So he might be better. But he's probably the best one, Nico Klein. So let's enter the pre-negotiation talks on him. So what that does then is that puts it into my calendar. That's going to take two hours out of my time to go talk to him. Like... The number of hours planned is down here. I've planned 32 out of 44. It's very odd. And then we can enter the contract talks afterwards. So, yes, I mean, I guess I, let's have a look at some of the weird stuff in this game. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to drop out of this. I'm going to go back to the start screen. There's so many things going on here. Like, I'm just like part of me is just trying to absorb it all. And I guess this is how foot manager feels to someone new to foot manager. There's so much unexpected. So, I'm gonna do, so we're going to go new game, right? So the first thing you'll notice, it's beaten foot manager to the punch. Women's football is right there. Right underneath, select the database. So you can select the We Are Football database. You can also download, some people have gone into the editor and made the real world databases. Some of the FM guys actually. So you can go Steam Workshop, grab a realistic-ish database for some of the stuff, along with icons. You can go grab a realistic-ish database with icons and some other stuff if you if you want um but we're going to go ahead with this basic database for now and i'll show you because all of it is not real and then weirdly then then on this screen it selects every single country and i don't know why it does this because then it's telling you over on the right and i don't know what occupancy means but basically i think this is like the star ratings of how well your pc are rated so even if i go down to only european selected it's only mildly happy so it will still run all the other countries, but it'll only take the top five teams. Uh, but yeah, we with the with the top European countries, we're probably fine. So we'll go with that. You can select number of players, so you can play actually with more players on this. And then I'm going to set myself. So you set your, your name, your place of birth. Play with family feature. We'll come back to that in a second, because that is a little bit odd. Starting manager level is also very, very interesting. Because one of the things that happens is your manager levels up. So I've played a World Cup, and coming out the back of the World Cup, I actually got some skills for my manager so he's better at well he's not good at networking but he's better at the other things so apparently he's leveled up on two things and leveled got worse at networking so i don't know how that works but yes yeah, so level one level two he's better and then now i've got a set of family the weird thing about this is i can set a pet for example i can set an iguana we can have a tortoise we can have a small bird we can have a parrot shall i have a parrot we can have a scorpion, guinea pig. I mean, this is, this is very odd. Let's, let's keep our iguana and we can choose our family. We can add like seven, eight kids. That one just shows up as a plus symbol. I don't know why. So we'll have, we'll have, we'll have two kids and then we've got our partner and you can, you can choose what your relationship to them is. You can choose what kind of character they are, but then you can also do this thing down here. I don't quite understand what the point of this is, but you can select Portsmouth, simulate the personal life. Oh, I haven't worked out what this does yet, because what it does, 
There's a problem with Lynn's relationships. Okay, I've got to set them both to, well, now it won't let me do anything. All right, let's try that again. So let's go Portsmouth. Okay, here we go. So now family, I can have, I can change desire to have a child. I can allow for adultery. We've got this date up here, which is third of the seventh. I can set a date for, for us to do together, a family event or just me and her bake a cake and it will put it into a calendar somewhere. We can choose. We can get rid of the pet. We can extra time for family. Spend a nice time. Let's put that in there somewhere. And then I can press like go forward a day. I'm now in a relationship, right? Although I thought we were already married, but okay. I learned that she's a fan of Portsmouth. Okay, that's that's reassuring. Right, we go one year. If I keep pressing a year, it'll do stuff. Willow broke it broke his foot, which is the daughter, but okay. Liam takes a week holiday with grandpa. My partner failed a driving test. Liam now collects football cards. What a legend. Willow recovered from her injury. And it will just go forward in time. I don't know. Do not show person like what's happening during this. And I can set a date again, enjoy some romance. Maybe we'll stick that in. And I, I don't know if this is just like a demo to like sort of just mess around with this feature in the game. Because if I come back and then go into the game, none of these things that happened happened. Unless yeah i think it changes why has the daughter decided to support newcastle i don't know um but i don't think any of these things happen so it sort of keeps these but different things will happen in the game right this is interesting we do have difficulty so we can set how difficult we want the game for ourselves now, i'm going to set it to normal but you can change all kinds of things disciplinary injury training club grounds budgets etc with this little helpful whistle man who's a bit like clippy if you remember clippy and then we get the mode that we want. So let's start, select our starting country. We're going to select England. But we could play a World Cup even. So we could choose international management, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we can do a European Championship as well. So they're just very short modes, very quick modes. Probably take an hour. We can do create a club. We can do a career or we can free select club. I'm going to choose career because career is kind of the interesting one. This is like if you were going to manage it. And it does some weird stuff that foot manager definitely doesn't do. But if you choose World Cup or European Championship, you're basically selecting your squad and then you get sort of the same things. There's, it's a little bit, I, I think it's a little bit buggy because you can do some stuff like enter into negotiations with players that doesn't go anywhere for some reason. But we're going to go into career. Right, you see how immediately I, it's going to show up behind my, my head in a second. I'm on a timer to answer this question. So appointment at the management recruitment agency. Did I play football myself? A good jockey doesn't have to be a horse first. Continue. And you can see that drop down my sports rating. Uh, what has been my biggest success with football? Let's say I was a World Cup winner. Right, which doesn't make sense considering the other bit. But which football variant other than football interests you me the most? A walking football, football golf, table football. Football golf, let's go with that. How many? How much work experience do you have outside sports? I'll go to school or university. Let's put that in. That dropped my personality for some reason. Am I more coach or manager? Let's say both. Open door, staff responsibility. Let's say staff responsibility. Right. A technical question. What is tapering? This is this gave me a different question last time. Uh, a bandage given to a player. A player is given a bandage who cannot make any unwanted or excessive movements. Form of training. A reduction amount of training. Treating players individually so they can deliver their best performance. I see. I, I, I don't know. So we're going to go with that one. It dropped my support, so I think I got it wrong. Do I know what wags are? Wives and girlfriends. That upped some things. Uh, would you remain loyal to your club in case of relegation? Let's go. I'll stay. Can I even use a mobile phone? This is totally different questions to what it gave me the other times. Right. And then where do you want to be in five years? Win a continental title. Let's say that. What is the average percentage of goals through set plays without playing with ticks? It's pretty low. It's 5 to 6%, I think. Which of these relegation regulations introduced last? Red card for professional foul. Back pass. Three points for World Cup. Ban on sliding from behind. I think it's the back pass to the goalkeeper. But I don't know. And then, so I don't know the answers. And it's sort of given me a rating. And I'll, I've, got, I've got a fan popularity and toughness on, on the two behind my head, by the way, which are quite high. But my sports rating is very, very low. And now, based on that, it's going to suggest three teams for me. And it's giving me Walsall, Wimbledon, or Mansfield, which is interesting. Uh, should we go with Wimbledon, bearing in mind? Let's go with Wimbledon. Well, it, actually, no, Walsall are going to come to me with a contract offer. So the end of the season, season, season objective, signing on fee, title bonus, salary. Uh, and I can say if I want things longer, shorter, I can suggest that. But I, th but I, think, I think we'll just accept this. And we'll, we'll go with Walsall. Right. You're still sleeping at the hotel. Welcome to Walsall. 
stadium view. So this is the Walsall Stadium. This is this is this is bigger. This is bigger. Let's check the club grounds view. Okay, right. So there we go. And oh, that's that is a bigger stadium down there. So I think that is the same stadium. And here they are, the club grounds. Look at them training over there, doing circles. They placed a bouquet of flowers and a bottle of sparking wine on my desk to welcome me. So it's got like this story, this narrative, more so than the emails that you get in Foot Manager, which changes it up a little bit. So yeah, it's different to Foot Manager in that way. The fans agree there aren't many big alternatives. Soon to be introduced to the team. Wish you luck in your new job. What does this button do? We are Foot Manager presents. Also, I've not seen this. What's this? Like a little bit of history. Whoa. We get like a presentation oh, check this out there's a lot of weird things that this game does which i don't like interesting design directions this is the stadium the the, the bedscot would be the real one but we've got we got these sponsors down on the side here it tells me how much the stadium cost how many seats my best player is nathan brady but he's a one star player and my best youth player is ben abraham he's a two star player i think may maybe nathan brady is more than a one star but i couldn't quite work it out we got 70,000 fans. Also, is that it? Let's just tell me also. Right. So there we go. So we're going to go into the club. So today's preparations for the season. Players are back from their holidays. All right. I get these action points, which I, I don't quite. I got four of them. Basic configuration. And I can spend them on, on something. By the way, you can also do this. If I look at the club, I can find where it is. Oh, God, it's not even here now. There's so much weird information. There's that film again. Here's a little location in the country. These are our finances, stadium view, club view. Oh, a museum. That's it. There's a museum, right? So it seems Walsall doesn't have a museum. So we'll see if we can find a club that has a museum later on. So we want to reach position 15. I can lower or higher that. And that changes my the number of negotiation points that I have available. I can also just increase my budget. But it does decrease my... It's just behind my head. A popularity. A bar chart for popularity to behind my head. I will show you. So as I increase my budget, my popularity with the board goes down. But I can also do this, perform financial calculation, right? Which is interesting because I can enter into, into this my own calculation, which is a very weird feature. Like I can start doing my own maths and stuff in here, right? I start to work out how much money we're going to make. And you'll see why you might need this later on because some of the finances in this or the, the control you have over your finances are insane. So here we are. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for the extra extra budget. We can set the kits, by the way, but we'll stick with the basic ones. And then right now I'm meeting the squad, so I'm gonna tell them the things that I want. So I'm gonna say my money's on youth. Anyone can show me in training. Everyone gets a chance. Long term development. This is with the board now. See how popular we get, and you can see what makes it go up and down. We're gonna play attacking football. I mean, there also there are also these things underneath these little toggles I can select, and you'll see they'll reduce it. So. Uh, one player from each age group has to make it. We only sign players for a profit. Only sign players who strengthen our team. And you can see all of those pushed my board up. Now we set the shirt numbers. So I'm going to tick it. But if I wanted to go in and change them, I can alter any of their shirt numbers. And here we are back to that screen that we saw when we were with the, with the German team. So set my focus for the week. Set my training for the week. You can see I've got these four boosts up at the top. And I can use that on this player to give him a 10% boost. Or a training boost for all of 2%. So I could actually do it to the whole team. Maybe we do that. One, two. Like let's just, I don't know if spending these is good or bad. Anyway, we are now having a look. So if I press the tab button, it draws up these things either side. Now, earlier on, this was showing me. I can set the things that I want. Dissatisfied players. There's all kinds of strange things. Preparation for opponents. You can select popularity. So you can see how popular with the board, the players, the staff, supporters. So popularity with your own staff. And also with the public and with the football association these are areas that foot manager doesn't really manage we've got what else have we got we've got we've got some strange ones what were the other ones that, are, that we saw earlier we've got like the training progress the level progress we've got the league's best players international goal scorers on oh, most shirt sales that's an interesting one so it's tracking who is selling the most the most shirts so we can look at our squad here as well and there we are. Now we are brought to the, the main screen. Now I'm curious. I want I actually want to find a club who might have a museum. So here we go. We'll look at Manchester B, which I, this must be Manchester City. We'll go into their museum. Right. Welcome to the Club Manchester Museum. It's this big museum. <laughs> and look at this. We can go forwards. There's a ball. These are all the things that they've won and the years that they've won them. I did look in the England one. They just had a solitary World Cup over here. No, it was actually in the middle. In the middle was a World Cup. These must be Champions Leagues. 
Yeah, Premier Leagues. These are Premier Leagues, sorry. Which Where is the Champions League? There'll be a Champions League somewhere. But the Champions League over here? No, they've not put their Champions League out. I don't think. European Super Cup was that? English Super Cup. Does it look, there's like a table, football table over in the corner here. A, a picture of somewhere in Germany. This guy on the wall, Alan Paquette. I think he must be like a player for them. But I'll go for this door. And then immediately you'll notice there's three more rooms. We can't get in that one, but that's like some kind of team room. But we can go across to the left here. And there's a ball and some boots and some more room for trophies. Some more balls, some more boots. We are Football 2024. So there's this big, I don't know what this room is, but there's this big room here. And then if I come back again and go through this door, we've got like a, a little goal pitch. I don't think I can kick this ball, but I can't. So we'll go through that door through to the next room, through this little corridor, through to the next room. Wow, we've got some more trophies stored away in here. Now I see why we might need the museum, because some England, it was looking a bit barren <laughs> before. For Manchester City, it looks a bit better. But then we go, look, right, now we're in this next room. Well, this is pretty empty. And then we've got another room and another, another like, theatre. We come into another room, more empties, <laughs> lots of empty slots. They're very hopeful. Uh, and then we get to it. I think when I did England, there was an extra three or four rooms. Anyway, that is the museums, which which are weird. So we are back at Walsall now. So I'll show you some of the things that we got. This is our, let's say, our uh, our main screen here. And I showed you extending the club grounds. Uh, we can also simulate down here if you want a bit like going on holiday and foot manager. And we have the first team squad here. I can hold a crisis meeting, by the way. I can look at the table, which is, is odd. I can look at the promises, the team progress, everything. Uh, you'll see here this AL. The actual level is how good. So Nathan Brady is my is my best player. He's a 5.9 right now. So he's probably our, our top player. I don't know if, it's, if it said he was our top player. I think it was Nathan Brady, wasn't it? So Nathan Brady is our top player. And you get all the standard stuff, how much he's worth, all that kind of thing. Um, the loan players, player relationships. Now, this is interesting. So each player has an individual relationship to other people in the game. So if I look at Ellis Mould, for example, you'll see how he is related to, say, Jarl Harvison. And you can't see that. Or so let's go Nathan Brady. Nathan Brady says both are artists. But he doesn't get on with Lyle Vernon because they don't speak a common language. Let's look at Marvin Pilgrim. Similar character, both are leaders. Contracts running out, so they're indifferent with each other. These are leaders competing for the same positions. So they don't like each other. Don't speak a common language. They don't like each other. So it's like, or it's like a negative. So there's in, every single player has an individual relationship with every other player. Um, we can we can make an appointment as well, so we can talk to a particular player. We'll set one of those in. We also have a team hierarchy, much like in Foot Manager. But there are extra levels on here. So we have like important sports role, inventory, talent. Down at the bottom here, we have Mavericks. So there are different, you know, the boss player at the top, Nathan Brady. There are different things. And you might notice here, Commission Psychological Profile. Now, I've not done this yet, so I don't know what it does. It results in 14 days, so we'll have a look. But, oh, earlier that little that little tooltip wasn't working for me, but now it does. A, psycholo a psychologist speaks to each of your players, analyzes the team composition, establishes their strengths and weaknesses. A bit like in Ted Lasso. Cabin Seismograph with a pro manager camp and an anti manager camp. But and, and a mole, you can set a mole in your in your camp as well. Right now, everyone is indifferent. But this is like what is like this is weird. It's it's I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't really compare to the way in which Foot Manager does it. You know, you get you get upset players in Foot Manager, but this kind of thing is uh is looking at a whole nother level of psychology in in the players. So let's go, let's go through and look at some of the some of the other stuff. We have team values down here as well, by the way. Teamwork, motivation, experience, flair. My announcements that I that I gave to the players, how well they they are doing together. So let's move on. So okay, we've got our reserve squad, and we also have our youth players here. We can hold a screening day to look at new young players. We will do one of those. So we'll add a screening day in for tomorrow, and we can also set up international youth camps, but we can't really do that at the minute because we are only Walsall. We've got our injury uh, and the types of absences, and we can arrange talks with the players who are injured. We've got the scouting here. We can scout or talk to players. We can study the player market as well, so I can select somewhere to look. Let's look in England. So I'm going to study the player market, learn more about players in England, and I can automate that as well. So if I want that to happen every week, I can make it happen every week. We can set up team scouting. The, the transfers and future fees are things that have already been planned organization now this is where things start to get like really there's a level of depth that just isn't there in football manager so i can choose the quality 
of the accommodation we stay at. And obviously that impacts the cost. Uh, I can delegate this, by the way. I can choose how many days before the match we're there. Obviously, the more days before the match, the more it costs. So the less days, the less it costs. I can delegate this. Accommodation for away matches and tournaments. You know, I can set the accommodation way better. I set the accommodation really good and they're there three days before. No. I, w I wondered if they liked it more. I could set the flight distance, the, the train ride distance, all sorts. Yeah, I'm going to delegate it again. Uh, we can organize friendlies and training camps, but it will ask us to do that in a minute anyway. And we can also do sort of events. So we've got strengthening team spirit, increasing satisfaction, activating grit in the players, organizing a season opener as well. Um, and we also have sponsor days and we're gonna, I'm going to delegate both of those for now. Uh, and then we get to HR. So now we're in our staff and this is HR. And look at all the staff you have. Assistant managers, team coordinators, head of HR, head of finance and sponsorship, a building manager, a fan support coordinator. Some of these, by the way, yes, if we look down here, the data analyst at the bottom, it, who doesn't have a name, it just says volunteer. So we can we can do it. We can also poach people from 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 elsewhere. We've got a head of HR, which is Gabriel Wilson. This guy says his says his age, says what he's good at. He's negoti negotiations and resilience. So yes, there's lots of weird stuff. I can set the workload for my staff, the lack of utilization of my staff. And we can set the expenditures for the staff, including things like bonus payouts. We can plan a summer party or we can plan a Christmas party. But we can set a hiring fees. We've got the cost cutting measures like there's a financial element to here, which is like running a business and, you know, managing morale. We just don't see this in the in the other game. And I also wonder if like if a manager would even do some of this stuff, like obviously a manager in real life would. But I don't know if a football manager necessarily would maybe at a smaller club. We got our stadium. And again, we can adjust things on, on our on our stadium and we can set how hard the pitch is. We can set how hard the pitch is on the training grounds as well. Uh, we can we, we can set the, the pitch maintenance. We can invest in, behind my head is investing in a stadium tour to make money for, from that. Sorting out the roof, setting a running track, floodlights, rolling ad boards, which bring in more money. I'm going to I'm going to install those, but it probably won't bring in enough money. We've got the club grounds. We've got the travel to the stadium, which we can improve the public transport, the cars, the planes, the climate neutrality. I mean, look at this. This is this is a level of detail which is mental. Purchase climate certificate, offer vegan food, switch to energy saving lamps. Like this is like weird stuff. And then we've got a hall of fame which you can you can go and drop players in. We've got our money here, and we've got an accounting journal. We've got uh, performing the, the financial calculations that we showed off earlier. We've got reserve infrastructure. We can adjust the ticket prices. We can charge p premiums for certain matches. I can delegate this as well. Take out loans, of course, and investments. And we could even sort going public on the team. Actually, when I was in the German team, we let me do this. But it depends what kind of team you are. But look, we can search for an investor. We'll add that on there. Coming in here, we've got sponsor contracts. We can look for new sponsors. I could delegate these or I could do these myself. Or we could actually we can add this into the time. So that's another thing we can go do is look for sponsors for those. We can send a valuable gift to our sponsors to try and please them. We can sell these naming rights on the stands as well. So let's get those sold. Uh, we've got ad boards as well. We can search for a sponsor for those. Then we come into marketing. And within marketing, we can do charity stuff. We can set up an app. We can produce special merchandise. It's massive the amount of weird stuff you can do with this. And this is this is my discussion with the boards. This is the 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 supporters. You can also adjust any of this. By the way, you can adjust any of the players as well. So you can go in and you can I can edit any of the players, change their names and what they look like and their silhouettes and stuff like that. Um, just the basic details about them. But if I come in here, I mean we're looking at sorry in this one we can change the the fans. We can adjust the amount of money for choreos, subsidies for away trips, uh, reimbursing the travel cost. I saw some things about I mean, this. Uh, the, the members, there's a members club, which we don't get on the, when I was at the German club, there was a load of options for, for what members can get as part of it. All new brawns in Walsall get a Walsall romper. Yep, that will cost us. Uh, we can meet the fan club. Let's add that. <laughs> Organize a fan club meeting. Yep. So, you know, keeping the fans on board is important. And then we get tactics, right? This is tactics. Now, tactics is somewhere where I haven't quite worked out how this works best. So we can move these players around like I showed you before. It sort of put them in their best positions already for me. Although maybe we push Leon Frazier slightly further forward. His best position is a defensive forward. It gets a 3-6 as a defensive forward. What's Nathan Brady mainly? 
also a defensive forward. So let's play two defensive forwards. Let's put Richard Griffiths in the middle. And Xavier Cullen, more of a center mid, you see. Do I have a natural right mid? What does Brady get on the right? He gets a 5.2. So let's adjust them. Let's move these guys around a little bit. He gets a 3.4 over here. So you can just move them around until you find like positions that they like. I don't know what Parker Payne likes. He just gets a 3.8. So yeah, just put them in into the positions they like, and we and then we have the general tactics. This is where you set sort of the, the tactics. Um, so you're not setting player roles, but you can do this. So we can we can set a playing style. So let's say sort of want to set troll defensive football, right? Let's go for that. And then we've got these little bits here, which we can change before the match. We can we can adjust this stuff. So pressing, how often we press. We can press sort of tenaciously. We can counter press variably. Set a few crosses, special corners, short corners, counter attacking, like just adjust some of these things. I can set the, the tactical profile. I'm switching sides. Lots of weird things. Now behind my head, I'm gonna I'm gonna show behind my head again because there's again something very odd behind my head. Look at this. Questionable means for home matches. I can set, I can pay a streaker to come onto the pitch. Don't repair the pitch at half time and water the pitch before the match. So let's do all those things because why not? And then finally we come to my personnel. Um, we can look at all sorts of things here. I can network, utilize, look at my improve my own skills. I can look at my career. We can come to my family. So this is where we again I can set those dates. So I'll set a date with my wife. Uh, we'll go to the theater maybe. And then you know, let's spend some time with my son. We'd like to play football at a club. Should the child be registered? Is this so we've got an event we have to respond to here, right? So uh, once a pet, will you? Well, we already have a pet, so you don't get you don't get a pet. How do I set him to? I don't know how I find him a club though. He wants to play football, a club. Should the child be registered? Yeah, register him. Sure. Like I don't know how I how I do that. Play together on the play a small football tournament. Watching football to play a fo small football tournament. Let's add that on. And reading together. So these are like are these like his needs? I guess these are like his needs, right? I can press love on them and they get little hearts. I don't know. Push it. I don't know. I don't. I do not know what is going on with the family section. If I'm honest, it's chaotic. I mean, turn on adultery. Does turn on desire to have a child? Who? So we go from there. We've got the stuff that I can set my assistant to do. We can also look at the stat center. We have all kinds of different stats we can look at. We've got the quick search. And we have got the achievements in the game. So already I've actually got quite a few achievements in the game. And then everything is managed, like I said, around that scheduler. A scheduler, scheduler, let me know what you say down in the description below. Down in the comments below. And we can look ahead to what it is. So let's let's do a week and see sort of what happens. So, oh, it's going to ask me to plan these now. So we, we'll, we'll add those things that we, did, we didn't add yet. It's also going to set my training week and the intensity so I can change any of these things within the training as well. Um, I am going to leave it as it is. But look, I, if I want, I can change that to any of these. Actually, let's change it to sprints. Why not? There we go. Right. So first, we have an investor meeting. Productive dialogue with a potential investor. Good. Right. Now I've got to set the ticket prices for the upcoming season. And I can make the fans happy or unhappy. Uh, let's make them happy. 31, we get a sold out stadium. Now we get a player talk. That was that player that I wanted to talk to. Let's talk to him about... What do we want to talk to him about? Is he my player? I can't even remember now where he is. Is he mine? He is mine. So let's talk to him about how good is he? He's a 1.9. He's not very good, actually. So you have no future here. Please leave. Why not? Let's try it. He's extremely adequate, angry, and indicates character flaws in you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So the investor meeting was productive. I'm now in a relationship with my wife. Wonderful. I found out she has no favorite club, though. Great. Okay, this is the cup draw. And there, there is like a noise for this. It is very loud. But yeah, the the, the team should just get drawn out. I'm going to draw them out quick. I don't even see where we are. Where do who did we get? Where are we on there? Does it highlight us? We're not, we are Walsall. I don't even see us in the draw. It's a little concerning. I don't know who we get. And then ask me if I want to even watch the draws from now on. Uh, sure. Let's watch them. Oh, it's doing some more draws. Wait, what's going on now? This is the, this is another cup. Are we in this? I think I saw us in this one. There we are. We're playing Bolton. Right. So this is a screening day and I've got not long to decide which of these players I want. 
And as the day progresses, I learn more about the players. Actually, I mean, do I run out of time? The time runs out, maybe. So I'll find out more. We saw him. Ah, right. Did, the, did they switch which players they were? I think they just switched. He wasn't the one there before. Oh, they've switched. I want him. I want him. Right. I didn't realize that. So we're going to take Noah Cuffey. Should have taken the three rated guy when I saw him. Okay. Now we're negotiating with this sponsor. You can see I've got negotiation points. I've got negotiation rounds. Let's ask them for more money. They didn't want to negotiate. I mean, I just pushed them on it twice and they did it. So we're going to sign. Do the same with these guys. Negotiate, negotiate, sign. There we go. We got another one here. Let's push these guys for a few bits. Oh, that annoyed them. Okay, right. They're close to being annoyed. So let's drop that and then sign the contract. We gave the promotional gift to the fans. They liked it. That's telling me about the Champions Cup. Right. So we now get a transfer request. So Salford is interested in my player, which is Nathan Brady, who's very good. So we're going to reject it. We do not want to sell with Nathan Brady. Um, the maximum number of season tickets that can be sold. How much do we discount? Wait, 20%? Sell 5,000. We're in another negotiation, so let's just pump it up a little bit. Negotiate, negotiate. Ooh, I think he's going to take it, but I can't reduce it anymore. Accept offer as is. Okay, they gave me a last one. Wait, right, we've got an additional major sponsor as well. So we signed loads of sponsorships there, which should be good for our money. The fan meet club meetup has also happened, and the fans enjoyed it. So the day is just going to progress forward through Friday. Uh, we've got one more sponsor meeting here. I'm just going to sign it. We go. I went to the theater with my daughter. I took my son, did the things with my son. Uh, right, now I need to choose a team for a friendly. So let's go for... Oh, we're going to play Bolton soon anyway. So we might as well do Bolton again. Player looks self-confident. I did see some strange injuries pop up. Right, now we choose our training camp. You see so many choices, but also like how much it costs, how long we're going, what kind of conditions are there. Like this is a lot more information than you get from managing this. You can also take some youth players with you. And then this is, you've got to select when it goes. So let's go there. Training camp is there. We did a charity event. It's a huge success. Perfect. And the final thing we can't see. So we got, these are now the, these are all the transfers that have now happened. And this again is how my team is progressing. And we're back at the start of the, of the week. So let's go, let's go to the game if we can. When is the game? Four days. So we're going to get to the game. We'll go back in on the game. I'll go back to the previous screen. We go. unimpressive breakfast so look even the players are unhappy with their breakfast like there are little story things in this game that i've already noticed which would be kind of cool to have in foot manager like the players are unhappy with their breakfast what are you going to do about it we're gonna, we need a new department head so we're going to sign him this is how the training camp report comes back the weather was bad i got beaten at poker so i lost a load of money personally the fan club is happy and then we are onto the onto onto the friendly. Actually, it's, it's chucked out a different formation for us now than than what we have, and I don't know why. Gilliam's a DF. This is Brady. So we're just gonna sort this team out a little bit. And then who was the other one who? So he's more of a DF as well. Fraser is a DF. Are these all DFs? Would it say Gill Gilliam is more of a left attacker? McKenzie is also a left attacker, but also and a striker. Let's put Gilliam there. Griffiths here. Now I need a right wing. Okay, Brady go out on the right wing. So that looks that starts to look a bit better like that. Press it, he changed it. Uh the formations are down here. So he sets the whole thing. Right, what did I say? Brady out on the right, Fraser in the middle. Gilliam also goes out this way. Kenzie goes up top. Right, let's try that. And again, we can adjust any of these. Draw defensive. We get a comparison. We get a revenge meter as well, which is interesting. So if we, you know, if we start to develop a rivalry against them. And then look at this now. So I can now rehearse certain attacks and I can add these in being trained, be used, add them in. We can look at how they look on the, on the pitch here. We get a little preview. But the problem is I, I don't know how this is translating into the game because you see so little of the game except for these little highlights. It's really hard to get the visual hum, visual feedback that you need. And like you can set the match, you know, how much you want. Pain is a weakness, leave the body or nice and easy. It's a friendly, so we'll keep it low. We target certain players. And we can use so we got we can use these points. It's a motivation points for speeches, right? We can use these like here. You'll see it goes down, but I can make that motivation speech right there. So let's select a couple of these and use those points. I can also set bonuses for my players. I can tell them really important stuff. I can have my assistant manager analyze the opponent. I can also make them promises of just below my head. If we win, I'll give you the day off. Or if you screw up, the running will be done early next week in the morning. And then the match importance up here. So let's go to the game. And the game's going to kick off. 
and away we go and what we need is preferably some highlights here we go an attack by bolton uh, they're already winning i did miss a highlight and um, now you can see the match engine yeah, it leaves a little bit to be desired it looks very much dated you know we often talk about foot manager looking dated i think this looks even more dated than, than foot manager management games really struggle a lot I'm trying to think of management games that actually look decent probably the tour de france manager which is where well, that's the reason why because the tour de france manager is also built off of the the management for so pro cycling club manager so pro cycling manager sorry is built off tour de france so uses the same engine so that looks pretty nice normally i mean not amazing but you know a, a decent effort but this is we are getting battered by Bolton here as well. So anyway, while that plays out, that is We Are Football 2024. One of the things I didn't get to show you is what happens at the end of it, like a, I don't know, a season, or if you go do a World Cup, your manager will level up and you can put things in a little RPG tree to, to improve him. And it's very much like that player one and you'll improve your, your manager as you go. Um, but I, I sort of feel like I've only scratched the surface. There's so many things going on in this game. It's really hard to take them all in. There's a lot on the screen at once. It feels quite difficult to be accessible. Like I don't really know how all those tweaks that I made are going to affect it. If it was like I'm managing sort of like relationships and finances and things like that more than I would in manager, and I have less control over the tactics of the game, I'm sort of just relying on how good these little these little numbers are. I get lots of stats here. The players on the side actually sat on these weird benches. But yeah. That is We Are Football 2024. So if you pick this up, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of these changes. Are there any of these you would like to see in Foot Manager? Do you think that maybe this, this is a new series, a real competitor to Foot Manager coming up? So let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. And I'll see you guys next time.